uh, myalgic encephalomyelitis and chronic fatigue syndrome is an area that's really been completely under investigated across the country. And uh, Francis is, uh, you know, really courageous and went out there and said that NIH is going to, you know, change that. And, and so what we're doing is we're having an intramural study that's underway. And after this meeting, I'm going to go over there and see how they're doing to really try and understand what are the causative features, pathological features underneath this unusual condition where people are completely disabled for decades uh, because of this terrible fatigue and inability to exercise. Uh, we also, because there's such a poor uh, research environment out there, what we're doing is we have FOAs out now to build centers that will bring new people in, start research going, and hopefully then populate uh, out further to allow folks to, to submit uh, really high quality grants to NIH. We're developing common data elements and trying to work with the community who feels terribly ignored and quite angry over, over this over the last decades. But I think we're making definite inroads there and getting the trust rebuilt. Walter, many thanks. Ian. Hey, Ian, yeah. First, the, the nodding syndrome story was terrific. I followed that for years. It was That's very It's a very strange work. thing, right. yeah. I'm, I'm we don't know for sure it's right, but... I'm not as excited about the investment in MECFS. Uh-huh. Why is that? Small, right. So, you know, it, it amounts to, by the time you're done with kicking in for various things, it's about $800,000 a center per year in direct costs. And if you involve many organizations, there's very little to do the science. Is there any chance that that might be increased? Well, there's always a chance. Um, I think the goal was that this was not the solution, but the seed to grow the research that then could come in through regular mechanisms or else to kind of add on centers so we can kind of move the field across. Because, I mean, I think if we can fund three, three or four centers, that's, you know, that's not, it's not going to do it. We really, we need probably 20 across the country. Well, I don't know if you need 20 centers, but if you look at what NIAID has done with centers that have been built around emerging infections, they started out around 11, and now they're around 6. And, you know, but $800,000 for a center is, it's a challenge. The it's program, you know, I'm, I'm vague, but the program is $6 million a year. That's how much we have. I, I understand that, but if you if you do the math on that, and they take these are getting very granular, but you got to kick in three hundred thousand dollars for some cross center project. Yes, across you have to have an uh, admin core, right. and by the time you remove that and the IC and everything else, it's about eight hundred thousand dollars a year in direct costs, which you know you split across say three or four institutions, it's less than, it's far less than an R O one for each of the investigators. I just, it, it's, it's, it's a problem. No one ever comes to me and said they gave me too much money. <laughs> I would but, love to, but I, I think you're right. I mean, we've got to move this field. It's going to take a lot of money. To, it's I mean, going to take a lot more money. The budget's going to have to, you know, be, you know, 10 or 20 times what it is now. 